The car bomb attack came just days after a series of suicide bombings in the capital that killed dozens and wounded hundreds. Eyewitnesses say the scene outside Kabul airport was chaotic. I was passing by here when a powerful explosion happened. Right after the explosion, smoke and dust were rising from the attack site. I saw a body on the ground and a person was on fire burning inside a vehicle near the attack scene. The Taliban is claiming responsibility for the attack, saying it was targeting what it calls foreign foes. President Ashraf Ghani condemned the attack, saying neighboring Pakistan is partly to blame. How are this the incidents in the past two months in general, and particularly the incidents of recent days, prove that suicide bomber training centres and bomb-making factories, which are continually used to kill our innocent people, are still active in that country. Ghani's coalition government has struggled to respond to the crisis, although he says he's willing to resume peace talks if the violence stops. Although with NATO troops largely gone from the country, the violence is only increasing.